Ken? I didn't expect to see you here this early. Good morning, Amanda. Hi. It's getting to look like a real picture postcard out there. The driving must be crazy. Uh, actually, I didn't. Morning, honey. Oh, hi, Mom. I was just telling Ken how brave he was. Excuse me? For driving over in this weather. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know, he really is a brave soul. Because he didn't drive over in the weather this morning. Huh? I spent the night here, Amanda. It's not that bad there. Come on, the weather guy said it's going to be blizzard conditions by noon. I cannot close the restaurant down on a whim, You Luke. call this a whim? Come on, we'll put out a gone ice fishing sign and we'll snuggle up by a fireplace and we'll ride out the storm. You're out of your mind. You so know. we're on. No, I can't. Come on. You're not going to get any customers in this kind of weather. Probably not. But my agent is coming over, Gloria, and she's going to be here any minute. I can't leave. Did you ever hear, you know, all, no all work and no play? You know what happens to you yeah, when you right. um... Did you really think you were going to get away with this? Get away with what? Well, what are you doing here, Iris? I sent her the chapters, just like we always do. And it's just as well she did. There is no way we are going to publish this monstrosity. You're ruining your whole damn career with these Hudson women. I'm just trying to find out who shot Jake McKinnon. What? McKinnon has been arrested. Yeah, She's thanks. been indicted. Thanks in large part. The case you. is closed, and you keep trying to drag up these suspects. I'm just going after the truth, and I'm not about to stop now. You asked me to help, right? You know I did. All right, what do you say? If I talk to Morgan and ask her if she would be willing to agree to delay the trial. I'd say that there's something in it for you. Question is, what is it? I heard Jake had some kind of crisis during the night. Yeah, I'm waiting to talk to him about it. Never a dull moment, huh? No, no. Listen, that last night really was great. I felt like I was miles away from here. Well, my beef Wellington does have it all over the hospital's chicken allocation. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the Wellington. It was being in someone else's home and the nice company. Really, it took me away from all of this. Me too. We'll do it again soon. You got it. Excuse me, John, I'm glad you're here. Take a look at this. Would you excuse us? Yeah, sure. Moves another millimeter, and he's dead. blanket of snow. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. You don't have to go out and shovel it. And we are Frankie. safe and snug oh, Frankie. and warm. This is definitely a subversive tactic. Why don't you uh, stay Frankie. home this morning? Frankie. And we can light a fire. In the fireplace? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Frankie. You're not going for this. I'm sorry. No mornings off until after Marley's trial is over, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm sorry. Where's Dean? Why? Well, you don't expect me to shovel the driveway by myself, do you? Oh, oh Dean! I can help you. I oh, no, women don't shovel. It's a male homeowner's rite of passage, and Dean can help out in preparation for that glorious day when he, too, will... Dean will be a homeowner. Tolerant for me. I am. Hey, I was saving that piece of pecan pie for my breakfast, Dean. Oh, well, how did I know that? I can make another pie. No, no, no. Don't bother. He's going to make it up to me right now with this. What's that? It's a primitive implement called a snow shovel. Cass, 
last year. Mm. Dean lives here, Frankie. It's not going to kill him to help out a little. It's okay, Frankie. Since I got to this town, I've become very good at manual labor. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, you make each other happy, so... Ken, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you, Amanda. Do I have a terrific daughter or what? <gasps> oh, no, look what time it is. I've, I've got to get dressed. Wait a minute, I have to where get are you out. going? Uh, well, we have to run some errands. Today in this weather? Well, it's important. Honey, I'm not going to feel comfortable with you and Allie out in Marauds on a day like today. Mom, um, it's not far. I'll get Thomas to drive us in the four-wheel drive, okay? Oh, honey. What? Uh, Mom, you're not going to stop me. I'm not trying to. I just want to find out if you've seen Paulina. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, I guess she's sleeping in. I don't think so. I went by her room. Her bed was made. Well, where did she go on? On a day like today, at this hour in the morning. I guess you got two of them out on the roads now. What's happening in there? I think you'd better ask the doctors that. Jake had several grand mal seizures during the night. By the time we got it under control, the damage was done. This bullet has definitely shifted. Looks like it's right against the cord. Yeah. Leave it in and the slightest movement could kill him. You try to operate it could kill him. I know that. I don't think we have a choice anymore. Who's going to do the procedure? Nelson will. You got Nelson? He was lecturing in Denver. I expect him on the noon flight. Oh, Jake sure bought himself a patch on trouble, didn't he? Most of which he had coming. Stay with him, John. I'm going to call the airport and check on Nelson's flight. The snow's really coming down. What are you doing here? What happened to Jake? He suffered a setback. Is he going to be all right? Who are you worried about, Paulina? Jake or yourself? That's a terrible thing to say. Is it? Why would you keep a vigil outside the room of a guy who dumped you? I don't get you, Jamie. Because he hurt me a little, I'm not supposed to be concerned about him? I mean, he hurt Marley, too, but you don't seem to have anything but compassion for her. Marley didn't shoot Jake. I don't want Jake to die. I'm sure that's true. I'd just like to know why. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. Transglobal flight 173 from Boston canceled. Flight 22 from Detroit delayed. Flight 85 from Miami has been rerouted to Chicago. Hello? Hey. Hey, that's you. you made it just under the wire, huh? You didn't have to come out on a day like this. I could have gotten a cab. You kidding me? Neither rain nor sleet or snow or anything. <laughs> You're the best. Listen, I just have to check on something, okay? Sure. Right. Sure. Go ahead. Can I help Hi. you? Yeah, I lost a bag in New York. Uh, flight 630. Could you check on the luggage for me? Certainly. Would you like to take a seat while I look into it? Great, thanks. Ready? I have to wait a minute for my bag. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, boy. So I was here yesterday to drop off Josie. I figured her sister deserved equal time. Josie went to L.A.? Yeah, bye-bye, Bay City. Hello, Hollywood. I, I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Yeah, it was kind of a quick decision. She said she'd call you, though, when she settled in. So Josie's going to be in the movies? Yep. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are you sure? I am. I... What Josie, and, what Josie and I had was over a long time ago. Yes, know? right, but still. Listen, I hope she's happy in an L.A. and becomes a big movie star. Oh. Speaking of stars, why did you go to New York? Oh, I, uh, I wanted to squeeze in a class with the ballet master before I started. Uh, see what he's like to work with. Who is he? Well, he's a tyrant, but... I can, I can work with him. Is that all? I, uh... I went to New York to try and get my mind off Sam. Seems like it didn't work. I spent the whole time there convincing myself not to call. 
Have you talked to Sam about this? I can't. Why not? Because I just feel so, so uncool. I mean, I follow the guy around like a little puppy dog, and I can't seem to stop myself. It's disgusting. Listen, you went to New York by yourself. You didn't follow him there. You gave him a chance to realize he misses you. Well, I didn't even tell him I was leaving. And how much do you want to bet that he didn't even notice I was gone? Liz, listen to me now. Liz! Look, if I knew where she was, I wouldn't be calling you. I have not spoken to her in a few days. There's a major storm brewing, and I'm worried about her. <laughs> Liz, I don't like getting the runaround from you. All right, look, when Olivia comes in, will you please have her call me? Thank you. That woman is unbelievable. It's about time. Where in the heck have you... Is this a bad time? No, what, what are you doing here? Well, Ali uh, has something for you, and she insisted on delivering it. Come on in, sweetheart. What you got, baby? It's right there. She made it herself, well, mostly. That is darn good, sweetheart. Looks like a Jackson Pollock Christmas tree. That's an invitation. Mwah. Her play school is having their gala holiday pageant. Oh, yeah? When is this? We don't want to miss that. Um, it's tonight. She kept forgetting to bring the invitation home. Tonight? Uh... Unless, uh... You're going to the snowflake ball? Me? No. I was looking for a graceful way to bow out of it, and her pageant is a perfect excuse. You're not going to the snowflake ball? No. No, um, it just wouldn't feel right. Well, Allie, I've come to your daddy. Snowstorm or no snowstorm, I would not miss that pageant for the world. Well, you better not, right? Right. Mm. So do you think um, we can all go together, maybe? Uh, Allie, you know what I finally found? Ernie, your favorite little Ernie, and he's right over there. Go get him. Wow, you found Ernie. I can't <laughs> believe it. I've been looking for Ernie for weeks. I'm sorry about that. I actually should have told you during Thanksgiving. Oh, no, that's all right. It was, uh, it was good that you were able to stop by. I'm sorry if I interrupted your work. No, no, that, that's all right. I, I needed to talk to you anyway. So you're still working on your ballet series, huh? so different from what yeah. you used to do. Well, kind of branching out. Feels good. I guess you found a new source of inspiration, huh? Yeah, I have. The words jumped right off the page, all right. I couldn't believe what I was reading. You want me to stick around? No, I think I better handle this. Good luck. This isn't typical of Felicia's style. But she I... should stick to the trot little romances. Oh, don't hold back, Iris. Tell us how you really feel. Now, look, Iris, I have read this book, and it is extremely well written. I think it could be a bestseller. What it is is a Romana Clef, and I will not have it. A Romana what? You may not be too embarrassed to flaunt your sordid little affairs, but I will not have my private life exposed in that tacky book. I see. I think I wrote it about you. Iris, this is a novel. It is complete Stop fiction. It. The other man is so obviously Lucas. Really? Oh, and as for that wife, well, I mean, that's just a watered-down version of me. Honey, you never married Luke, remember? Wife, fiancé, it's all the same. No one will be fooled. I really didn't have you in mind when I created this character. Oh, please, don't deny it. I'm saving you, Iris, for my Stephen King ripoff. Oh. Well, at least that will be an improvement. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, Jake is having some sort of a crisis. Well, is he still in a coma? No, I don't know. All they said was they're flying in a specialist for some delicate surgery. What kind of specialist? What kind of surgery? Why are you so concerned about Jake? Sir, she seemed to be taking this rather personally. Look, Lucas, Jake is front page news. As head of the hospital board's public relations committee, I'm responsible to the reporters. And if you think you've heard the end of this, you're sorely mistaken. Well, a postponement buys time to come up with another suspect. I don't buy it, Grant. Oh, you're kidding. Hey, there's, there's something in this for you. I have a feeling that it has to do with the little talk that Vicki Hudson had with you. So what are you getting at? Oh, you figured out that Vicki's willing to move heaven and earth in order to protect your sister. 
Well, it didn't take a genius to come up with that one. And you've also figured out a way to turn it to your advantage. I just want to know how. Well, look who's here. It's John Hudson. Mm. Who's that he's with? It's Taylor Benson. It's uh, Charlene's therapist or former therapist. I've seen him in here about three or four times this week already. Uh, Grant, I don't think that that has anything to do with uh, your personal life. So, listen, I gotta get going. All right, let me uh, know if I can help, all right? I will. Hey, don't go making trouble where there isn't any. Yeah, of course not. Well, good morning. What do you want, Grant? Well, all these uh, rumors I've been hearing, all this buzz around the cafeteria this morning, is it true? Which rumors? The ones that you spread? I beg your pardon? No, I mean, I'm talking about all the ones about the two of you. Everything they say, is it, uh, is it true? Have you sold any from the series yet? Not yet, no. It's a shame you're so busy. What? Well, um, I just had to fire my art director and sophisticate. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Well, um, <laughs> what is it that they say? Creative differences? <laughs> you stunk, huh? I have one of Iris's finds. Mm -hmm. I could really use your eye, uh, until I find someone new. Bad idea, Amanda. Hey, you know we pay it. top dollar. I don't need your money. Come on, you were a great layout editor. You've done some really fabulous stuff for Iris lately. Amanda, I can't work for you, you know that. I guess it was a bad idea. But look, the, the truth is, Sophisticate is in trouble, and I'm desperate for help. Ah, uh, Queen Alley has arrived. Oh, wait a second, honey, what do you have here? Are you playing dress up again? Let me see. What do you have? Uh oh. Well, I, I guess we know where that inspiration comes from, huh? Come on, Rachel. This is perfect weather for cross country. I don't even know where our skis are. It's you and me and all that newly fallen snow. Huh? Mm -mm. If I go off and ski and everything, I'm never going to be ready for tonight. Maybe you should just cancel this snowflake ball. Who's going to make it anyway? Oh, we've had record turnouts in weather worse than this. Besides, maybe this year I'll finally get a chance to dance with you. I don't believe it. It's been a whole year. It was you, wasn't it? You're a mystery man. Put your, your name on my dance card, and then you never got around to introducing yourself to me. I wanted to. Couldn't do it. I just figured Mr. Jordan had a better offer. I just wasn't ready to face you yet. I thought I was. It's all I'd been thinking about. Well, I guess it was a... It was a difficult night for both of us. God, life is full of the strangest trade-offs. What does that mean? I blamed Mac for everything that had gone wrong in my life. And I was wrong. And I spent last night in the arms of his wife. And everything felt so right. I guess I'll never understand how you worked your way into my life. I pulled every trick in the book to make it happen. Are you sorry? I feel as though it were planned. Oh. You followed me in the snow that night. Oh. You saved my life. I might have frozen when I got hit by that car. Well, at least I was able to do that for you. And what does that mean? Sometimes I feel as, as though I brought you more trouble than happiness. 
Yes, it felt that way in the beginning. And now? And now, not so much. It's been quite a year. Yes, a year ago, neither of us knew anything about Paulina. Right. She was just some girl trying to get up enough courage to find her father. Oh, I should have known. What are you doing here? I'm here on hospital business. Yeah, sure you are. How's the death watch coming? I don't want Jake to die. Dead men tell no tales. Iris, you're pushing your luck. You're the one leading the charmed life, but not for long. You know, everybody knows that you're out to get me, and nobody believes a word you say. They will. You better stop making trouble for me. Or what? Or I'll start making trouble for you. You've already joined my family. What could be worse? You ain't seen nothing yet. Now listen, don't you threaten me, sweetie. You're right out of your league. I wonder how Rachel will react when she finds out that you hired Jake to bug my phone and spy on me. You have absolutely no proof of that ridiculous accusation. Besides, I don't think you want to let the cat out of the bag. I don't know. Might be worth it to blow you out of the water. All that will do is arouse suspicion on those tapes Jake has hidden away. Well, well, well. Jake McKinnon has a crisis, and the two ladies he bugged come running. I wonder, why is that? I'm here to handle media relations on behalf of the board. Right. Do you have any information on how he's doing? Anything new? The airport's closed. The neurosurgeon can't get through. Well, travel should be back to normal by tomorrow. Jake doesn't have that kind of time. How bad is he? Unless we operate, it's possible Jake might die. But if this becomes a murder case, the DA is going to want to take a long, hard look at some new evidence and some new suspects. to give this back to daddy okay this isn't ours sorry don't worry about it olivia should not have left this laying around i'll tell you what cutie why don't we put your jacket back on and let's get out of here okay ali sweetheart thank you very much for making sure daddy got that invitation on time mm -hmm. okay honey. use this Delivery for Sam Fowler. Yeah, what's up, man? What are you talking Corey about? Corey Limousine Service presents yet another satisfied customer. Olivia, Olivia. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't know you were here. Hey. Uh, we were just leaving. Come on, you. There we go. Sam, I'll see you tonight, right? I'll be there. All right, here you go. Yeah, I better mush on out of here myself. Uh, Thomas brought us in the four-wheel drive. Follow us home. Great. Thanks again, Matt. See you later. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Get in here. Come in. Where were you? I was worried. You were. Of course I was. I was in New York. New York? Did you miss me? I suggest you mind your own business. John, I can handle this, okay? Look, there's nothing to handle. I mean, I'm not the bad guy in this. Who is, Grant? How about I prove to you that I don't have a vendetta against you or your family? How do you plan to do that? By helping Marley. No, no, please. She does not need your help. What is it you could do? Well, let's just say that I'm in a position to um, offer assistance if the situation warrants. Grant, okay. why don't you do us all a favor? Go back to Washington. Solve the savings and loan crisis. Bring a little peace to the Mideast. Wheel and deal all you want. Just stay out of our lives, will you? If it gives you any more trouble, call security. Well, he uh, certainly is very protective of his new friendship with you. You seem to have that effect on people, Grant. I wish you'd smarten up, you know that? You and I could work well together. I seriously doubt that. Come on, you must know something about where Charlene has gone. Don't you ever quit? No. Not until I've got what I want. 
You must be a very frustrated man. You know, you're a bright, beautiful young woman. It's a shame to see the problems of your past follow you around. In this case, thanks to you. I'd love to see you happy and in love. Think about it. Well, I told Mr. Winter Wonderland to be a little bit more careful and less macho about his shoveling. It was invigorating. It was refreshing. It was beyond pain. I am trying to oh. relax your muscles. Frankie, where did you learn how to give a massage? The Spanish Inquisition? Are we finished? Are we done? Yeah, the shovels need a break. Good, because this is Dean Frame requesting permission to disband the snow removal unit. Sir, please. Permission granted. Thank you. Hey, Dean. Thanks. No problem. We, uh... Made a pretty good team out there until the fed back went on strike. Yeah, we uh, we did. I made some hot cocoa. You can help yourself. Thanks. Ooh, Thank hot you. cocoa. Knock yourself out, Dean. Yay. <laughs> oh, you really did it to yourself this time, <laughs> Counselor. Mm. I should never have insisted we buy this place. No, no, I liked it out there. You know, a man and his shovel, going mano a mano with nature. Well, nature won manos down. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better already. Mm. All right. Uh, Keep my place, okay? I will. Hello. Oh. Oh no. What? Okay. Uh, we'll be right there. What is it? What's going on? That's Jamie. We have to go. Where? Bay City General. Why? Because Jake needs immediate surgery, and Jamie may be the only one who can do it. He can't do it. No. Let's go. I don't know. What do you think? Do you, do you think she's going to really try to block this publication? No. Look, if Corey Publishing does not want this book, we will take it somewhere else. It is in your contract. If she's talking libel, I mean, what are we going to do? Well, then we wait and hope she cools down. And if she doesn't? Well, then we look on the bright side. A trial would generate oodles of publicity, oh, which translates Gloria. into book sales. Yeah, if the book is any good. Oh, please. Now, I have told you this book is terrific. Who are you going to believe? You were my biggest fan. You know that. Well, we've been through a lot together, and we are going to take this book right to the top. What would I do without you? Oh. Felicia, you don't need anybody. Look, this is your first serious book, and I want to hit the ground running. And speaking of running... <laughs> come on, come on. But don't go. You don't have to go yet, do Oh, you? yeah, I do. I have some... Uh, I have some... Well, I have some things I have to take Gloria? care of. Gloria? What? What is it? What? Are you all right? I'm fine. Honey. Well, I have a headache, courtesy of Iris. Well, I have a pain from Iris, too, I, but it's not in my head. Oh. Look, I'm going to take a few aspirin. I'm going to be fine. You know what you should do? You should wear that necklace I brought you from Africa. What, I should dress for a headache? <laughs> no. But it's supposed to ward off pain. Maybe it'll even ward off Iris. Oh, well, then I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm fine. You sure? You, you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm positive. You would tell me, wouldn't you, if there was anything wrong? Yes, I would. Look, Gloria. I'll see you later. I would do anything for you. Mm. You know that, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. You really think you can keep peace between me and Iris, huh? I can handle Iris. God, she's so... so out of control lately. Yeah, she's wound pretty tight. I think I know why. Did you see how she looked when you told her about Jake? Yeah, I did. I don't understand it, really. I mean, she hardly knows him. Come on, enough about Iris. I'm gonna show you something. What? Over here. Come on! What? Come on. Oh. No, not this again. Come on, come on. Come on. Look, look out there. Now, yeah, what do you see? I see Bay City covered in snow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What does it remind you of? Well, um, mm -hmm. give me a hand. Oh, come, come on. on. Give look, me okay. a hand. 
Look, there's, there's Mr. Spinelli. He's trying to keep the snow off his pigeon coops, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, and look, look at this. Mrs. Mrs. O'Shea forgot to bring in her laundry again. Okay. She always does that. Our rooftop back on Gold Street. Yeah. <laughs> we always used to go up there when it snowed. Put our arms around each other and watch the whole world go by. Yeah. Well, you know, we've a long, long way to end up in each other's arms again. It's been some trip, hasn't it? Think it was worth it? Do I have to ask? You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe we really do belong to each other. So I keep telling you. Yes, well, let me know if there's a change. All right. What happened? It was Jamie. Jake's taken a turn for the worse. He was already pretty bad, wasn't he? The bullet has shifted, and Jamie has to decide about surgery. <sighs> Glad I'm not in his shoes. Paulina is at the hospital. Jamie's suspicious she's more anxious than she ought to be. I know. She shouldn't be at the hospital. Why not? The police haven't stopped this investigation, no matter what they say. So? So she shouldn't be at the hospital. Not with the history that's gone on between... between her and Jake. You sound like Jamie. Don't you think Pauline is telling the truth about Jake? Do you? Yeah, I guess I do. What do you think? I'm concerned about Pauline. I care about her. Uh-huh. But? But I guess I can't help it in the back of my mind. I do have doubts about her. I think that is entirely understandable. Jim and I have been arguing a lot about it. Mm -hmm. You two don't usually do that. No. But no matter what Jake has done to Paulina, I can't imagine her shooting him. I'm closing. How come? Too much snow. No customers. Hey, uh, check you can take off. Uh, I still gotta do all these floors, so. Uh, who's gonna lock up? I'll take care of it. Go on, go home. Take the... Oh, say uh, hello to Barb, right? And the kids, right? Uh, what about her? Oh, she's a friend. Don't forget to set the alarm. Right? Goldilocks. How are you doing? Dance with me. Sure. <laughs> You're not mad at me anymore? Shut up. <laughs> mm, she has a great voice, doesn't she? She does. She does, yeah. You know, it's amazing the power that music has. People don't realize it. Mm. Makes you feel like you can be anything, do anything. <laughs> this is nice. Just me and you and the music. No Corys, no Jake, no police. So what's the matter? Are you in trouble? Ryan had to be there. Who's Ryan? Oh, I should expect it by now, though, you know? The way the whole town looks at me. What happened? I know what those looks mean. There she goes, the little slut from Gold Street. Thinks she can pass herself off as a Cory? The nerve of her! You really got something bugging you, don't you? I know what Ryan thinks. Same thing as Jamie. <laughs> they think I did it. Next, Cap. Oh, it's a bear out there. Oh, good. You're both back. Now huh? I don't have to worry about all of you. you. How are the roads? Uh, slippery. Dangerous. People are abandoning their cars and walking. Uh -huh. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Hey, listen. How about Snake Hill out back? It ought to be outrageous for sledding. Hey, how about it? that sounds great. Allie, what do you say? Do you want to go sledding with your old mom? What kind of sled you got? 
I got the fastest toboggan in the county, Ken. I think he wants to be invited. What do you think? Uh, ah, yeah, sure, all right. come on. <laughs> How about you too? Oh, I don't think I'm in the mood. Oh, come on, Rachel. Yeah. Give you a chance to get all this other stuff off your mind. Do something to get in the holiday spirit. Yeah, you have to put all those clothes on. You'll look great. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you on those cross-country skis after all. Okay, well, only on one condition, um, that we come back here in front of the fire with some hot butter rum. I'll butter it myself. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> all right, Mom, let's Okay, go. okay, okay, you guys, um, we'll be down there. Oh, wait, okay. Mom, I want to sit by the fire for just a minute. Can you take Allie with you? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Come yeah. on, we've got to go get come our on, sled. Come on, Allie. Get you ready to go on this. Get you for a racing oh. sled. <laughs> Fastest toboggan in the county. <sighs> You okay? Yeah, I'm trying to be. Listen, I, uh, I wouldn't have brought Olivia over there if I knew you'd be there. Do you think Olivia loves Sam? Hey, listen, don't beat yourself up about this, I okay? had it, and I blew it. Give it a little time. It'll be okay. Yeah, you're right. Come here. It'll be okay. You had me very, very worried. I didn't think you would care. <sighs> of course I care. I'm sorry. So this means, uh, we're even now, I guess, right? That's not why I went. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings the other day. You should have just told me the truth. You're right. Well, I'm very accommodating. You wanted space, I went to New York, gave you half a car. <laughs> it worked. What do you mean, it worked? I had me missing you like crazy, and I was worried about you. Well, I'm here now. Mm. So, so, I was New York. Oh, I took a class with the company. Yeah. Which was incredible. Oh, great. I'm not sure I'm going to like all that flying back and forth, though. Mm. Well... You can just stay there. Sam. What? I want to be with you. And I want to be with you, really. Well, I'm here now. Yes, you are. You better be snowed in here than in New York. You mean that? You better believe it. Well, we could be stuck here all day. Oh, well, we have food. We have wine, and we have candles. What about space? Well, to my mind, there's plenty of that. What is wrong? Nothing. Tell me. What? I was afraid that what we had was starting to fall apart before it even started. That is not going to happen. It is okay, isn't it? It is more than okay. All right, so the cops yeah. think that, that you shot this guy, Jake. Jake and I have a history. None of it's very pleasant. Yeah, I've heard Frank and Cass talk about him. Guy sounds like a real slime ball to me. He is. I know how to pick up. <laughs> so what, uh, what happened? How'd you hook up? It was at a time when I was trying to prove myself to the Corys. Mm. They weren't sure that I was who I said I was. Uh, must be strange. Everybody looking at you with a, a fish eye. <laughs> well, it was great to finally find my family, but yeah, living there was uncomfortable. Kind of like me at Frank and Cass's house. And then I met Jake. Two kids from the wrong side of the tracks. A match made in heaven, huh? Yeah, we had a lot in common. Jake knows all the right things to say. And you fell for it? Sure I did. He was, he was charming and cute, and he didn't ask me any questions. Hmm. We had some good times at first. And then what happened? All he wanted was my money. Uh oh. That explains it. <laughs> what? Why you blew up at me when I asked you to invest in the Dean Frame uh, Fund. 
You couldn't have known. Uh, I know, but still, I, and I should never have mentioned the recording business. I'm sorry. I don't mind. Yeah. I like hearing about your dreams. I just don't want you thinking I like you for your bank account. You know, I like you for you. I know that. I don't care about your limo or your house or your whatever. Actually, that stuff is kind of nice, <laughs> but, you know. You are so sweet. I'm not sweet. I'm not sweet at all. Hi, Jamie called us. What's going on? If we don't operate on Jake, the slightest movement could kill him. So what are you waiting for? If we do operate, we could die on the table. Tough call. When Jamie finishes looking at the latest x-rays, we'll make a decision how to proceed. Excuse me. The DA wants to know if this operation will take Jake out of his coma. There's no way to know that. You made a decision? We have to operate. Is Nelson here? Nelson snowed in in Denver. I'm doing the surgery. Scrub up, John. I need to speak to you for just a minute, Jamie, please. I don't like this at all. Yes, I don't like it either. We don't have a choice. You're more than a little emotionally involved here. You have lots of reasons for hating Jake. I'm also his doctor. Jake is my patient. If he dies on that operating table, there's going to be some very ugly speculation. Yes, I know that. I just want you to be aware of the position that you're putting yourself in, Jamie. If Jake dies, the charge against Marley becomes second-degree murder. I'll be damned if I'm going to let that happen. Have Mr. McKinnon prepped for surgery. Now. Sex, sex, and more sex. You can always count on the tenants of Melrose Place for a scorching hot, super scandalous roll in the hay. Don't miss all the bed hopping on Melrose Place. Today at 4 on SoapNet.